San Diego, California is one of the most beautiful and laid back cities in all of the United States and it's my favorite city in Southern California. I've lived here for the past nine years, way before I started AMA TV and I still haven't made a top 10 things to do video. So today you can join me, Alicia and my baby for our top 10 things to do in San Diego. Introduction to the natural beauty of San Diego and a great place to fly a drone. Extending above Ocean Beach in the Point Loma area, you will find some of San Diego's most spectacular coastline. You can stay up on the cliffs to enjoy beautiful California sunsets, or you can hike down below them to explore even more picturesque beaches, rock structures, and hidden caves. Head over to Coronado. Coronado Island is a short drive over the most beautiful bridge in San Diego, which alone makes the trip well worth taking. Once on Coronado, you can enjoy the very best views of downtown San Diego, see the charming resident homes on the island, and most famously, visit the historic Hotel Del Coronado. The Dell, as it's known, is a National Historic Landmark built in 1888 and is one of the few beach resorts built in the wooden Victorian style of American architecture. Even if you're not staying at this picturesque hotel, you can browse through its beautiful lobby, check out the shops, have brunch on the patio, or just enjoy the beautiful beach surrounding it. By the way, if you'd like to learn more about the production gear I used to create this video, check out the link below to find my Amazon storefront and a few tech demos. La Jolla is an entirely separate area of San Diego to be explored and shopped. La Jolla Cove marks the heart of the coastline on the edge of town and is well known and loved for these slippery guys. While they mostly keep their own space, it's important for tourists to understand that their space must be respected in order to keep them safe and healthy. That means no super close seal selfies. In La Jolla, you can also rent kayaks and venture into various caves along the shore, as well as swim, scuba dive among the sea kelp, and sun yourself just like a seal. It actually drives me crazy when people visit San Diego and never leave downtown. You must not only visit the actual beaches, but hang out in the fun beach neighborhoods. Your options include the young and party-friendly Pacific Beach, featuring the Crystal Pier Hotel, where you can actually sleep over the water, and lots of crazy beach bars where day drinking is definitely a thing. Surfing is another popular activity, and although the water is cool, the waves are often worth the effort. The always happening boardwalk connects Pacific Beach to Mission Beach, which is slightly more family oriented, offering a classic beach vacation. Or there is Ocean Beach, which is by far the most eclectic. Besides enjoying the beach itself, you can check out their pier, abundance of beach bars, shop for unique souvenirs, or enjoy their weekly farmer's market, which is often quite the party. The Gaslamp Quarter is probably the most popular area for tourists to visit being right downtown and sprawling out from the convention center. While this historical neighborhood is named for its old-fashioned gas lamps, the main reason people come here is for the abundance of restaurants, bars, hotels, and nightclubs making Gaslamp Quarter the centerpiece of San Diego entertainment. The streets of Gaslamp Quarter can offer quite the party on any given night, but when annual events like Comic-Con take place, the chaos multiplies dramatically. Welcome to San Diego! Why, thank you! Some of this is Comic-Con, some of this is just classic gas lamp stuff. It's always crazy down here. Head to a San Diego Padres game. We're fortunate to have our baseball stadium right downtown, so a game at Petco Park is a great way to kick off a warm summer night. Whether or not you're a diehard baseball fan or you just like to take in the sportier side of San Diego, Petco Park is a fun spot to hang out with friends, have some delicious food and beverages, or shop for some Padres gear. While we're still talking downtown, you must consider visiting the San Diego Waterfront and Seaport Village. The waterfront stretches all the way from the San Diego Convention Center all the way up to Little Italy where you'll find a cool little water park for kids. 
A walk along the waterfront is lovely in itself, and if you don't feel like walking, there are plenty of these fun pedicabs available. The San Diego waterfront is also home of the USS Midway, but we'll come back to that later, and this famous statue known as the Unconditional Surrender, which beautifully commemorates the end of World War II. You may notice a bit of a Navy theme in this town. In the heart of Seaport Village, you'll find some of San Diego's best seafood restaurants, along with an eclectic mix of shops and fascinating street performers, like this famous Reiki Energy Rock Band. Balancer. Great work, man. High Thank five. My good friend. Awesome. The USS Midway is a retired aircraft carrier that has now become the most popular naval warship museum in the United States. The USS Midway served for almost 50 years and is known for several naval aviation breakthroughs. The museum shows off planes aboard the ship, spectacular views from the open deck space, as well as a full guided tour of the living and workspaces below deck. And I'd like to extend a huge thank you to all US military, especially the Navy sailors who have lived and served aboard ships like this because it is tight down there. They also now use the Midway as a venue space for events, everything from nighttime parties to early morning yoga gatherings, a few of which I've attended. Visit San Diego's Old Town. It's the oldest neighborhood in San Diego and was settled by the Spanish in 1769. Today, Old Town is an adorable historic district with an abundance of markets and shops selling handmade goods with an 1800s vibe. It is also home of the Whaley House, said to be the most haunted home in America. Old Town is also the main spot for authentic Southern California Mexican food with the fish taco as a centerpiece. You can enjoy a fish taco or other Mexican entrees at one of the many authentic family-owned Mexican restaurants here in Old Town. not only a world famous home to almost 4,000 animals, it was a pioneer in building cageless open air exhibits for them. You can visit the San Diego Zoo right here in the center of Balboa Park, a 1,200 acre sprawling green space that marks the center of San Diego City. Balboa Park is quite the destination itself, being full of museums, theaters, gardens, and tons of gorgeous architecture. Balboa Park mostly features this gorgeous Spanish colonial architecture that best shows its brilliance during the golden hour of sunset. My favorite Balboa Park activity is simply watching the airplanes land, which happens straight overhead from a lot of great spots downtown. So hopefully you are on one of those planes making a trip out to visit San Diego. Be sure to check out the other top 10 things to do videos in this series. We now have Amsterdam, Dubai, Dublin, Finland, and Naples. You can also find more travel details surrounding each video on amy.tv. If you're not yet an Amy TV subscriber, I hope you guys join the fun and subscribe. My name is Alicia and I will see you in the next video. Bye.